we got snow yesterday, y'all. I know it is a new year, but it is also winter time. So let's talk about some must-haves that you need to have in your closet to stay warm but cute this winter. Let's get into this video. Hi and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Felicia here with another video. Like I said, it snowed by me this weekend, New Year's Day. Happy New Year's to everybody. Now, before I go into showing you what you need to have, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because on my channel, I do how to style, I do sneaker reviews, and I also do some beauty, little product reviews, and all of that good stuff. So if you're into that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I want to say what's up to my new subscriber, Salita Smith. Yes, I do shout out my subscriber. So if you want that shout out, hit that red button. Now, let's get into this video. Like I said, it's New Year's, New Year's Day. We got snow. I think we got up to like six inches of snow. That lets me know that winter is here. It has been mild so far, but I know being in the Midwest, especially in the Chicago area, that when we get winter, we get winter. And there's just some things that you need in your closet if you want to stay warm, but you also want to be fashionable. So let's get into it. I'm not going to hold you. First thing is pants. We're just, I start here, we're going to start with pants. You need a good pair of jeans in your closet. And I'm going to say, go ahead, dig in the back if you ain't gave them all away, and grab you some skinny leg jeans. I definitely believe that you need a good pair of skinny legs in your closet during the winter. They're great. You can tuck them in your boots. They're going to go well with tucking them inside your boots. You can put, you know, on top of your boot, cuff them up over your boot. They're just easier to style than your mom jeans or your looser fit jeans when you're trying to wear a boot. So I do say go ahead and pull out the skinny leg jeans. I know I said that the skinny legs was over a lot. I take it back. I've been rocking my skinny legs, especially in these colder months when I want to wear a boot or something like that. Yeah, I've been wearing a skinny. Another pair of pants to have in your closet is a good point knit pants. I think these are great. This is a great replacement for your leggings and it's also great if you have to go in the office and you have to dress up you can't wear jeans i think a point knit is great i say these are a great replacement for leggings because it is that knit material but it is a whole lot thicker than just your regular layer your regular leggings these are also great for the office because you can throw it on with a sweater or with a nice dressy shirt or a cardigan and you are kind of in dress code, you're still giving business casual. So I say replace your leggings with a point knit pants. It's definitely gonna help you out and give you that look that you want. And it's thicker than a legging, so you'll be warm. Outside of having your jeans and your leggings, you also wanna have just another pair of pants. I wanna call these like alternative. For me, that'll be a good old corduroy, honey. Don't let nobody fool you. I know we want them as kids and we hate them, but you can get you a nice pair of corduroy pants for the winter time and they're gonna do you just right. They're gonna keep you warm and they're stylish now. I have these and I probably showed these before, but I do have these corduroys. This is a skinny leg corduroy. So I can wear it with boots and it is fashionable. I can dress this with a sweater. Typically, I'm going to wear a sweater with it or a turtleneck. It just has a whole look and it's giving a vibe. I definitely recommend having an alternative pair of pants. That would be your corduroys or maybe a velvet pant or just some type of thicker pant that's definitely pants that's definitely going to get you, keep you warm, but also kind of stylish and just add some diversity to your wardrobe. Now, I know we're not going to stay in the house all winter. We're going to have to go outside. We got to be social. People still going to be trying to have parties and functions and rolling the dice and praying to God that it don't be a snowstorm that weekend. So you're going to need some pants that you can wear out and go out in. Because listen, let me also just say this, okay? Your girl Fee, 
is 44 years old. My days of trying to be cute to go out and it's cold outside and I'm outside with no tights on, no pants on and a short skirt and my knees is just getting all that cold air are done. If you are 35, over 35, I say those days are over because you're going to play now, but you're going to pay later because that cold air on them knees is going to catch up to you. Hear me when I say it. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Let me know if you hear me and if you know what I'm talking about. So I say, get on to get you a pair of faux leather pants, faux leather leggings, whatever. These are great for going out in the winter months. You got your legs covered. You can put it on with a cute dressy top. It could be sexy. Even if you're doing a date night and you it's too cold to wear a dress or something like that. Throw on you some faux leather leggings and a cute little sweater and you have a look. So I definitely say, even though I'm still, I got them now. So you definitely want to have you a pair of faux leather leggings or a pair of faux leather pants in your closet for these winter months. These are great for going out, dressing up and stuff like that. And you can be cute. You can be warm and your knees will thank you later. Say, hear me when I say it, okay? Heed my advice. Now let's get into some shirts because you gotta have some shirts on in the winter time. You can't go out there with your boobs and your chest all out. Okay, first things first, as always, you need you a nice cardigan. I'm always gonna say that. I feel like you need a cardigan in your, in your closet every season, winter, spring, summer, and fall. You need to have a cardigan. I wanna say for the winter months, go for something a little thicker thickier thicker also maybe a little cable knit situation something that's a bit chunkier so that one you can be warm it just has that winter cozy vibe and you can dress it up in so many different ways so you definitely need a cardigan an open knit and i also always say go for a longer cardigan because they just look more stylish to me another shirt that you want to have in or top that you want to have in your closet in the winter months is a nice flannel shirt. Now, if you want to wear them fitted or if you want to wear them um, oversized, that's up to you. I do both. And so I definitely recommend getting you some flannel shirts. You can find these in the men department. You can also find them in women's. It just depends on how you want to wear them. They're going to keep you warm. They're trendy. They're in style. They're easy to style. You can wear these so many different ways. You can wear this open with a shirt under it. You can wear them closed as just a shirt by itself. You can actually wear this with a shirt over it if you're looking for, you know, to do some layers. So definitely recommend having a flannel shirt or flannel shirts in your closet during the winter months. Another shirt that I think is a must have or you should have in your closet during the winter month is a turtleneck or here i have a mock neck because of my haircut i prefer mock necks the turtlenecks i have some but you know where i'm going with this they kind of give me a little S uh, um, uncle fester vibe so i prefer a mock neck because it's not taking up my whole neck so whether you do a turtleneck or a mock neck that's up to you but i think this is great you can also do these if you like the body shirt styles these are great just for layering. You can th throw a cardigan over here, a blazer, a jacket, anything, and it's gonna just style well. I think that this is just a good basic piece to have in your closet during these winter months. And because it's a mock neck, it gives more of a winter vibe and it also will keep you a little warm. So definitely go for a turtleneck in your closet for these winter months. I know that in the winter, we still want to be cute. We still want to dress up. We still want to feel good. I feel you. I hear you. I hear you. That's why you need da -da -da -da, a sweater dress and preferably a longer one. I know they have the short ones. If you're going to wear a short sweater dress, I do recommend you throw some tights on with it. You can even do some faux leather leggings or leggings under it and you can do a tall boot that way your leg is just not exposed and you're not cold we're trying to be warm and cute not cold and cute we're not doing that okay so if you're going to wear a short sweater dress just remember a tall boot 
or tights or both just so that your legs are warm and you still cute or you can go for a longer length this one is longer but it has slits on the side and i would still do a tall boot with this because i just like that layer look so i would definitely do a tall boot with this and i think i i know i have styled this and it's on my instagram you can check on my instagram i do have this on with a denim jacket and some tall boots so you can see it styled that way but yeah a sweater dress is a must-have and you can wear it so many ways you can wear it with a heel boot a flat boot a tall boot a booty however you want to have it but it's in season so you have on a sweater you're warm and it's cute Next, sweaters. You did think that I wasn't going to say you didn't need sweaters in the wintertime, did you? Like, uh, girl, yeah, you need some sweaters. Guys, fellas, come in. You need sweaters, too. Yeah, everybody. We need to have some sweaters in our closet for the winter. You can have casual sweaters. Ladies, I highly recommend you get some accent sweaters. I'm upset. I just was going, I just went out a couple of days ago, went out for dinner, and I realized I didn't have any cute, like, accent sweater, statement sweaters. That's the word I want. I didn't have statement sweaters. And I know you're looking at me right now with this sweatshirt on, with these little accent. I, I didn't, I forgot about this when I was getting dressed. And it didn't go with the jeans that I was wearing. That's what it was. It didn't go with the jeans. But, yeah, you want accent statement pieces statement sweaters in your closet in the winter months just so that you can have something if you're dressing up and you don't have to wear a thin shirt you can put on a nice sweater that's dressy that has a statement piece that can be your statement piece for the night with a nice pair of jeans you can even wear a skirt and some tights your faux leather leggings whatever and be cute and dressed up and you have on something that's kind of um elevating your look but also you just want good sweaters in your closet i found this sweater some years ago at the thrift store and this sweater has been with me it has like this dolphin tail so it's short in the front it's longer in the back i can dress this up or down it has this cow neck, so it's giving a little vibe with the cable knit, which is also like a trend right now. So you definitely just want some good, nice sweaters. And this is a nice, thick sweater. So it's going to keep me warm. I'll be cute, but I'm also going to be warm. So you want um, just casual sweaters, everyday sweaters, guys, that goes for you too. And you also want dressier sweater. Guys, that goes for you too. You could throw on a nice pair of jeans, a nice sweater, and um, a nice pair of boots, a nice pair of shoes. Get you some boots, a nice pair of boots for the winter time. And boom, you have a look and you're ready to go out. I also have something else to say about going out, but we're going to put a pin in it. But definitely sweaters and statement sweaters in your closet for the winter time, they're must have. During these winter months, we, we going out, but we ain't going out like that. We also in the house, we casual, we comfortable, we chilling. We might have to run out for errands or whatever the case may be. Or you just don't feel like putting on jeans and all that. Always, always have you a nice little jogging set. And I'm saying grab you something with a hoodie because it's clutch. You can throw it over your head. Yeah, get you a jogging set. And not only is this one outfit, you can wear this hoodie with some jeans. That's one outfit. You can wear some joggers with a nice t-shirt and a flannel. That's an outfit. You see, you hear what I'm going? So you get a lot of looks out of this jogging suit. And you can wear this with your snow boots you could throw these on with some uggs gym shoes if you want i really don't wear a lot of gym shoes in the winter months because i'm not trying to mess them up and i want my feet warm but if i do throw on some if i do put on some if, the, if it ain't real nasty outside then i'll throw on my gym shoes but yeah you definitely want you a nice jogging suit and get you a good thick one 
a good thick one with a hoodie on it honey baby it is going to last you it is going to get you and this just not for the ladies guys y'all already know because y'all gonna wear this this is what y'all wear all winter anyway a good old thick jacket suit so ladies go ahead join in too and get you some too and you can be cute Lay them up, style them up, and be cute too in your dragon suit, girl. We gonna be warm and cute. Cute and warm, warm and cute. That's the whole thing. You get it? You got it. Okay. We are all adults. If you following me, I'm pretty sure you, you good and grown. You, you an adult. You up there. Like, you got a bill in your name or something if you following me. So, this go for the fellas and the ladies get you a real coat for the winter time if you can't afford a north face or columbia or mark michael kors or whatever go on down to the old navy and get you a coat they always got them on sale go on down to the burlington and you can find you a good coat that's where i got mad get you a nice good warm coat you see? And this goes down to my knees. That's another thing. Get you a coat that's going to go over your knees, keep your legs warm, keep keep you warm. I have to get on the train and I have to walk. So I had to get me a nice, good, warm coat for the winter time. Now, I only pull this bad boy out when it's under 30 degrees. I do have another jacket that's shorter that I can wear when it's 30, 30 and up. But when it's 30 and down, I pull out this bad boy because I don't like to be cold. I believe in being warm. So guys, get you a nice, good coat. Women, ladies, get you a nice, good coat. And don't be afraid of color. It don't have to be black. But get you a nice, warm, good coat to have for the winter time. I beg you, please. Get you a good coat. Now, I talked about us going out, dressing up, getting cute. Don't you put on your good winter coat, your good walking to the, walking from the train, your polar vortex coat on, your North Face and your Columbia's, and you got on your good dress-up clothes. We're not doing that, especially if we're adults. Because if you're following me, you got to have a bill in your name, okay? Okay. So... If you are going to have, you're going out and all that, you need you a nice dress coat. Now, this don't have to be your polar vortex coat. We're not looking for this coat to keep us like completely warm. This is the coat that you put on. It's going to get you from your car or the Uber or whatever to where you're going. You're going to go in there. And you're going to put that coat back on to get out of there, get in the car and go home. See what I'm saying? You're not standing out and all that with this coat. So you want you a nice dress coat, fellas, that goes for you too. Get you a nice wool dress coat, preferably, I say. I do recommend that you get something that's at least knee length. I just think it's a vibe for men. And ladies, you also want something with a little length because if you're wearing a short dress, it's gonna keep your legs warm. So I have this long coat. I wear this in the fall as well, but I can also wear it as a dressy coat. But I do have a coat. I have coats and jackets that I can wear if I'm going out and I'm dressing up and I'm taking it up a notch and I don't want to be out in my polar vortex coat. You know, even though mine is cute, I could get away with it. But still, you don't want to be dressed up in your cute dressed up clothes, dress clothes in your North Face puffer coat no shade just go ahead and get you a nice war coat war blend coat again you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money but you do still want to have a nice coat to have in your closet in the winter month i didn't really get into shoes in this video um because it's the winter time honestly in the winter time i'm wearing a lot of boots and I recommend you do the same. I'm wearing my Uggs. I'm wearing my Doc Martens. If I'm going out, I'm wearing a dressy boot. But I also want to say this. Just like you need a good winter coat, if you are in the Midwest, 
you need you a good old snow boot. And it don't have to be a big bulky boot. I got this boot from DSW a couple of years ago. You don't need a big bulky boot, but you do want to have you a nice snow boot. You don't want to be out here with your feet wet and your feet cold in the winter time. It's just not a good look, which is why I don't wear my gym shoes in the winter in the, a lot of times in the winter time because they're not going to keep my feet warm or dry and I don't want to mess them up. So, get you a nice snow boot, fellas. Gonna get you a nice little uh, UGG boot, a North Face boot, a Nike boot. Get you a good old snow boot. That is it. That is everything. I hope this video was helpful. I did try to put in some tips for guys. And I'm like kind of dibbling and dabbling with that this year as I do these videos. If you like my video, go ahead. Please hit that like button. Leave me a comment and also hit that subscribe button. I am trying this year. I've been doing this now for almost two years. And my numbers are creeping along. Yeah. This year is the year that I want to get to that 1K. Help your girl out. Hit that subscribe button. Leave comments. Like it so that YouTube would know that people are checking for me. They're watching my videos and they'll put my videos out there. More people will watch. More people will subscribe. You see where it's going and the wheel goes round and around and around. So I see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and... Bye. Stay warm and cute.